So today I've got Charlie with me and we're going to look at Christmas ads from the United Kingdom. We've got Audi, John Lewis, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, M&S and Boots. And we're going to see which is good and which is a massive fail. So up first we've got Audi and uh, this always seems to have a very vegetable theme. It's Kevin the Carrot. Come on, everyone, we're late. That's all the passengers can have. Mummy, can I give my pocket money to Nibley? They're helping families in need. Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas in Paris, a family vacation. But wasn't someone missing from this festive celebration? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see what they are doing now. Uh, it is a Home Alone theme. Did you know, side fact, I found this out actually today, that Kevin's ticket was actually thrown in the bin. Really? Mm, by, oh. I think, probably by the dad. A I didn't fun know fact. that. But carrots, home... I like that they've done it on Home Alone. Mm. For this little oh. carrot would spend Christmas at home. <laughs> and he often gets scared when left all alone. <laughs> Quaking in his roots, he had to make a stand. <laughs> <laughs> and tackle the intruder with traps he carefully planned. How did he make all this food? Then all of a Carrot. sudden, he had a bright idea, which almost dashed his hopes of seeing in New Year. Roast carrot. Fearing that his plans had left him quite exposed, he made a hasty exit to become a snowman. Nose? Kevin! Santa! Thank goodness you're here! Someone's been trying to get in! Kevin! But even though Kevin was a little worse for wear, he was overjoyed to have everybody there. I'm sorry about Paris. At least we got to see the Trifle Tower. Oh, God. Let's that make was Christmas bad way to end. Uh, so, I think... The thing is, yes, I know they show food, Let's forget about the whole thing of how did the carrot make the food. That's just me thinking. That's just, it. Yeah, that's just your yeah. problem. Let's go um, over that. I like that they did Home Alone. That's the pros, isn't it? That the, yeah. the story is basically Home Alone. Um, I think the whole thing with, with Audi is that they've got this theme and they're going to run with it each year and tell a story. And they make a lot of money out of it because they do Kevin the Carrot merchandise. Yeah. They've got little plushy ones you can buy and everything. Absolutely. I think they do make quite a lot of money from Absolutely it. Absolutely ridiculous. So did you like that? I actually quite liked that. It's, it's different, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose. It's not really playing on any emotions other than nostalgia, no. other than nostalgia for Home Alone, which yeah. everyone loves, right? So, uh, I, I, yes, ish. You like it? I'm... I do like it. Okay. I do let's... think it was a bit. I know it's obviously an advert, so it's quite short. But I do think the ending bit was just quite rushed. Mm, yeah. There's a but... lot of build up were to you, a very quick ending. Were you featuring an ex? Were you were you hoping for an extended yeah, Lord like of the an... Rings style version? Yeah, I'd like the extended All right, the advert. On to the next. Okay, the next one is John Lewis, and there's a few of these Christmas adverts which are normally very good. Mm -hmm. However, it's normally the ones which you have to spend a lot of money to buy anything in. And John Lewis is a department store. I said, John Lewis is like the way people know Christmas is coming to a certain extent. They wait for the John Lewis advert. Yeah, but, but do it's... we think it's worth it? Okay, let's find out. <laughs> That's me. Okay, before it ends, surely he's doing this to impress maybe his child or something. I don't know. So that he maybe he's bought a, a, a skateboard for his child 
and he wants to be able to skateboard as well so they can do it together. I don't know. Currently, I, I just don't understand the point no. of the skateboard bit. It might be we're missing something, but currently I don't get the point. Hey, Ellie. I like that. Okay, so I sort of guessed ish. Mm -hmm. I sort of guessed ish. Uh, they are playing on the whole sort of charity emotions that you know the he's trying to do something to to make the child feel welcome. Yeah, it's <sighs> see. I I love I love the message behind it, but yeah. the problem I've got is were you hooked on the advert from the beginning? No, but I was intrigued. Okay. No, that's, no, that's not my issue. My thing is, yes, it's Christmas time and there's a Christmas tree, but sh it's an advert to try and sell your shop to make people buy stuff. They're now, not really much product placement. No, there, it's not product placement. Now, are they just doing it to basically make out like they're a good business, come to buy from us because we give back? I don't know, but it's not, like you said, it's not a product placement one. No. I. It's really nice that they've done a charity advert, because actually John Lewis do, is such a big Christmas advert to do. It's a charity advert. It's huge. A lot of people, like you said at the start, a lot of people watch it. So mm -hmm. maybe it's just showing that they do some good and then... And actually for these charities, the exposure they'll get from just being on the John mm. Lewis advert I is I preferred huge. this one to the, to the uh, Aldi one. Because I think it's more of a message of Christmas. I think the Audi's like a after each other family and... one for kids to watch kind of thing. Yeah. This was more of a hard-hitting Christmas yeah. advert. Okay, right. On to the next one. Okay, Sainsbury's. Uh, big supermarket. Looks like they're in some fairy tale. In a far, far away land, a feast was being planned. Okay, <laughs> how does Alison Hammond... She gets around, don't she? She was literally in Big Brother many years ago. How does she keep getting this job? Because she's um, presenting on this morning now, she as well, isn't she? It's ridiculous. How does she get these jobs? Good on her, though. She's doing loads. Crab Thermidor crumpet. Delicious. Mm. Cider glazed gammon. Mm. Yes, yes, I love all that. You, what do you have? For dessert. I've never really liked Christmas pudding. Do you like Christmas pudding? No. I don't like Christmas pudding. I hate pudding. Christmas pudding. I don't even like the smell of Christmas and pudding. And also, do not music. I, well, I'm pretty sure what the music is in the background. What? Uh, it's Wheatus, Teenage Dirtbag. Is it? Yeah. It's not actually the song, but it's it's that, the, yeah. the melody. I'm not sure about this one so far, though. No, Alison Hammond's in it, and I, she's, I don't understand that. Bring me something different. Or else. Or else. Or else. Or else. Hey, baby. A sport biscuit! Please! She quite like this version. Treaty time! To Christmas pudding. Uh -oh. Surprisingly, it looks quite good. Is that caramelised biscuit? Yes, Countess. Mm. That's a bit of me. <laughs> and that's why you can taste the difference. Actually, um, I'm pretty sure Sainsbury's Taste the Different range is quite good quality, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's quite good. I quite like the Sainsbury's um, range. I do actually like that Alison Hammond at the end. She's a bit of a, um, a working class type lady, isn't she? Mm -hmm. So I do actually quite like that she was... When she says that's a bit of me. She sort of dropped yeah. into her own style at the end. Um, There's a lot of food placement in this one. Yeah. It's very can much see on whole, the food, isn't you it? You can see the whole spread. There's a sort of a theme with it, with a sort of a... a a queen that needs to be impressed. Um, it's showing a lot of the food. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily 
oh, this is the food we've got, apart from the Christmas no. pudding. Um, so there's a tiny story in it. Did you like it? I did like it, but it's not. it wasn't funny and it's not pulling on your heartstrings. I think it was, it, was, just... it was trying to be funny, though. Yeah. Trying to be funny. Trying, but it wasn't like... Yeah. I, I just don't think it was anything special, necessarily. No, I, I... I don't think I'd remember it. No, but I don't really remember any Christmas adverts. But like the the Kevin the Carrot one. Yeah, but you that, would yes, like. Yeah, but that's because they've got the whole merchandise. Maybe. Well, I just don't think. I think if I saw this again, I just wouldn't even. Please do let it. us know what you think in the comments, and obviously while you're down there, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Now on to the next one. So next we have Morrison's, another supermarket. It's not quite as big as some of the others. No. Uh, but you quite like Morrison's. Don't I really you? like shopping in Morrison's. Actually. Yeah, it's it's good quality and good value as well. And the fruit. It's very fresh, very I would fresh. say, with Morrison's. The fruit and veg is great. Well, by the looks of it, this advert might sum up your general impressions of it. So let's okay. give this a go. We're in the field. Oh, hello again. It's me, Farmer Christmas. Grower, <laughs> provider, lover of fantastic festive food. Follow me, folks. This is where Christmas dreams are made. Uh, like these no, puff pastry mince pies. Baked by Jeff in like magic them. oven. They're just normal ovens. Or this smoked Scottish salmon. With orange and cranberries. Very good, Kirsty. <laughs> or this bourbony, bacony British gammon. It's like a big edible Christmas present. Can I just say, um, the difference with that was, so we saw gammon in, in the previous adverts, mm -hmm. right? But that looked like a normal gammon. The others looked too, way too shiny and way too... The others look staged, didn't yeah. they? Whereas that actually looks like you could have made that yourself. Yeah, it looked normal and real. So I think that's a positive. Right, I'm off then. Whoa, nice ride, mister. Sport mode, lads. All this deliciousness is why yeah. Morrison's is the only supermarket to be officially approved by me, Farmer Christmas. Oh. Right, who's got the gravy then? Morrison's. I quite like that. It was simple. Yeah. It was simple. As I said, I think by them going through the field um, at the start, uh, and it, it just looked real. Yeah, and actually, they didn't do anything necessarily overly special. They just showed off mm. what they do. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas. They went with the Christmassy theme. They didn't go with a... S He's not a celebrity, I'm assuming. I don't recognise so. him. They didn't go with like a big celebrity or anything. I just really liked that. Father Christmas is Welsh now, though, apparently. I think it did just... Su Farmer Christmas. Farmer though. Christmas, Farmer sorry, Christ yeah. I think it just summed up Morrison's, though. Yeah. I think it was them. Did you know, though, in a lot of adverts on TV, the food is not actually real? Well, no. I think most it's real, but they use different tricks to make it look better. Or, or they, like, inject it with it's stuff not, to, it's like, not real. fill it up. Most it's not of, always real. Yeah, but most of the food is still real, but with, like... But, like, they inject stuff into glue it. Glue and things. Yeah, and... which is ridiculous. Fun, full of facts today. Not Yours wasn't quite right, now, I'm sure. I'm sort of nearly there. Anyway, next one. Okay, we've got M&S now. Now, M&S is, once again, a very... Um, you have to have some money to shop there. Mm -hmm. It's very fancy. Food is normally of really good quality, though, to be fair. Last year, we had the fairy, and that was Dawn. Dawn French. Dawn French, And yeah. apparently, she's back for this one. It's Christmas, and I need to find me a little friend. But not you. Or you. Oh, definitely not you. Oh, this could be fun. Ah, what's going on? Is it playtime already? Merry Christmas, oh. Ducky. Christmas. Oh. Do you know who that is? No. It's, uh, it's, um, uh, Dawn French's comedy partner. Oh, um, the blonde lady. What's yeah. her name? Ah, uh, that's annoying. Hang on. Dawn Fr I'm Googling this while we're actually watching. Hold on. I can't think of her name. Dawn Fred Saunders. Jennifer Saunders. Jennifer Saunders. I didn't even need to Google it. It came oh. to me. That's Jennifer Saunders in that. I'm not exactly dressed for it. Yeah, you look delightful. Yeah, well, I suppose I do, considering I'm chased around by that four-legged... Ah! <laughs> Oh, oh, look God. at me. I'm falling apart. Looks like we need to fill you with some festive cheer. 
I suppose a mince pie could fill a hole or two. How about a slice of M&S Collection perfectly matured cherry and orange liqueur Christmas pudding wreath? Oh, well, that is... That looked nice, apart from the pudding. Yeah. Until as, they said Christmas food, pudding, that looked good. But, as I said, M&S, same as Waitrose as well. Waitrose, um, John Lewis, they're all kind of the same, aren't they? But, but what I, no, what I mean is, these adverts, what they do is they do... Waitrose and M&S, M&S do the real close-up shots of, oh, yeah. of the food with the, like, the slow drizzle, and it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, my God. It makes you automatically want to go and buy it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's a bit Christmassy. And look at these. Award-winning M&S mini steak crostinis with caramelised onions. Oh, M&S collection Christmas sourdough loaf with oh. dried don't cranberries even like cranberry and sauce. Look how good that looks. To sink your beak into. That's the spirit. Or this is the spirit of M&S slow gin. Yum! Oh, we are going to have the bestest Christmas ever. <laughs> yes, but I think I might celebrate it up here on the sideboard, if that's OK. This is not just food. This is, this is M&S, M&S Christmas food. food. Um, yeah, it, it's... It's it really what, shows off their food, doesn't it's it? It's what they've done recently. Actually, I don't think they showed as much as they normally do. Um, I'm sure they show more more food, you know, individual foods, but they haven't done as much this year. The close-up think. shots, though, just make you so badly want to eat some of them. They the do that very, very well. Okay, last one is Boots. Um, and we're not going to mention the shop that Charlie works for. Okay, last one is Boots, and someone hears this all the time, all day long, since November, right? I hear it for the first time in, like, September. Well, there you go. Uh, So you'll be fed up with this. So this is my first review, really, isn't it? Um, so I would say Boots does a lot. So it's obviously a pharmacy, but it's all oh, health and beauty and everything. Mm-hmm. It does some food and it does opticians, op- hearing care, baby clothes. So all kinds of things. What really. I assume they're doing, the hashtag is joy for all. So I think it's you know, a lot of like, for example, the supermarkets, they are simply focusing on the food. Whereas what Boots are doing is they're showing lots of different aspects. Of, Highlighting everything that we do. Yeah. For all this Christmas. Is that it? Yeah. Now, I was a bit bored. I like it. I know you... Charlie said to me, don't say bad things about the Boots advert. However, it was really boring. I I think it's just like a warm Christmassy one. Yeah, but I actually think... My point was about the advert is that they're showing all the different bits of the business, Mm -hmm. right? And what they sell. But I think because it just zooms by, I don't remember any of them. I think okay. I think they're all just not memorable and, and there's no story behind it other than someone... Well, is she buying presents for them? Yeah, she does. She buys them in the end. That's okay. obvious. She sees what they all want right. by putting the glasses on and then she buys it for them and then they're happy Christmas Day. Well, the fact that I didn't know that straight away, I, saw, I, I could see... She's I mean, I have in... seen the advert more than once. So. Exactly. Um, I just think it was really boring. I really like it. It's not my favourite advert they've done. I really liked one a couple of years ago where they did giant products in a village and that was amazing. We're not talking about years ago. We're talking but, about 2022. I know, but I do like this one. I think it was rubbish. And I like the music. I do think they're a good choice of music. Uh, if you hadn't got the music, it's because of the copyright. And I had to mute the music just in case. Uh, well, there you go. What was your favourite? Um, I think my favourite was... John Lewis was the skateboard. I liked Morrison's. You liked Morrison's Because simple... Morrison's was... Morrison's. Mm. It was them all over. They didn't try and be someone else. They just did what they do best. Yeah. And I, that's what I like. I would go... It's a tie between M&S and 
MS and John Lewis. You like the MS close up shots, don't uh, you? That's all that's a bit of you. If you if you want a way to persuade people to buy your food, do what MS do because it makes food look incredible. Whereas the John Lewis has the story, has the The message behind it was it, nice. It's like a little mini um a, a mini mini film. Yeah, and I think with the John Lewis one, they've done something different by short film. Highlighting something else mm. this Christmas, which is nice. Well, there you go. Please do let us know which one you thought was the best and which one you thought was the was the worst. Now, this was part one. We've got some more coming. So make sure you watch that one as well. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one.